Oh my god. Oh my god! Damn! Hello. Welcome back, Star Platinum. The world. Oh, hello there. Just gonna move away from you and act like nothing happened. Oh, oh, the world! Kill that Reaper! <laughs> okay. This is the best mod I've ever installed. <laughs> oh, man. It never gets old. Anyways. Hi. Hello. So, we're going to be doing something a little bit different in this video. Uh, a lot of this is going to be taken out of the game itself. And we're going to be exploring some very, very exclusive access to a upcoming mod being created by another content creator by the name of Aki, who is very well known within the Subnautica community. However, I do have a question I need answered because these seem to break when you destroy them. So I'm going to go ahead and start platinum. Kill that reef back. Let's see what happens. Is it gonna just, that's, oh my God. It's like pulsating. Ew, oh. Well, that happens, I guess. Give me air. Wait, what, what is this? Is this what's left of it? Oh, no, it's just coral. Never mind. I thought it was a meat chunk. Anyways, what I want to talk to you about is something called Subnautica Call of the Void. A lot of you guys seem to be really into the concepts and uh, <laughs> Star Platinum and the voice stuff as well. I'd like to see this incorporated in all honesty somehow because uh, I think it would work because of the way the submarine is... So anyways, now that we've avoided certain death, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into the trailer that was released by Aki, and we're just going to go down through this because I have a lot of exclusive behind the scenes looks at the creatures and like actual game ready stuff that I didn't know they actually had. But it seems the journey for us will begin in the Manta submarine, and it's a submarine that is significantly more advanced and uses sophisticated AI technology, and I've slowed it down here for a reason. So you can see all of the different things that this submarine can do. It looks like it has a sonar option, it has a shield option, and then there's two unknown options as well for upgrades. It'll be interesting to find out what those are in the future. Anyways, clearly it has a leg up on the Cyclops submarine because it'll be able to dive deeper than ever before, and it likely uses some additional advanced materials. We'll probably be gathering those as we journey into the dead zone following some signals from your AI companion as they detect them. Now one thing that's interesting here is that we seem to be focused on a crystal in the trailer and that's well there's a couple creatures too obviously but let's just go ahead real quick. And now we're getting a really good look at the Hydra submarine and its model work. I want you to ignore the fact that it doesn't have a uh uh dome right here i remove that because uh, we have a view inside of this as well at some point but this is literally like what was used and rendered uh for the footage that we were looking at just now except it doesn't, it doesn't have like it's processing and, and you know like special effects and everything and i'm not playing it in rendered mode because i don't want my computer to melt but this is the best way for us to actually get a look at some of the creatures and some of the scenes that are actually in this so there's the submarine up right there, and we can see there's a lot of crystal structures around here that seem to play a significant importance in the actual uh, mod itself. And these remind me of a concept that were teased years ago that are now scrapped um, of crystals within Subnautica and their, uh, I guess, importance. I don't know. It was It's just one of those things where it kind of stuck out to me, and I thought it was interesting. And if we continue on, actually, we will start to see creatures themselves completely custom creatures uh one of these being a very giraffe like looking creature uh, actually that continues on within the scene when we're inside the submarine and you can see one of these creatures as well later on in the trailer let me just go ahead and leave the submarine though because we're going to take a look at this creature now um, these are game ready. I do want to make a note though, that when I had a conversation with Aki about it, they might look like they're really low quality, but like they're using the lowest quality versions of everything that they have because it helped with rendering times. Uh, this to my knowledge took about two years to make as a trailer and, uh, well that's a pain in the ass. What is that? Hang on a second. What are, what is that? What are, oh, these are the, wait, these aren't fruit. These are like, these are like crystal looking fruit or something. Or maybe they are just fruit and it's just really low detail. But it reminds me a lot of the crystals that we're seeing. More crystal references. 
Interesting. You see the submarine over right there. But so some information on this creature itself. There was a concept in 2018, I think, for the Sea Treader. Believe it or not, maybe if you're an OG of Subnautica, you remember that this is actually like the original Sea Treader concept of like what was on the forums and everyone wanted to see compared to the creature that we have today, which is dramatically different, obviously. But this one came with its own bioluminescence and stuff. So for the sake of time, we're going to continue on through the trailer, and we see right here that one of the treaders is eating one of those fruit that, to me, look like it's some kind of crystalline fruit or a reference to them. And then a shot inside the submarine with another treader that is there. There's a lot of stuff coming up that we're going to get really excited about, because as we follow through the darkness of the void and track these anomalies, these signals, we slowly start to realize that it's not all just sea treaders and creatures that are eating crystal-like fruit. There are some bad things down here as well, and I'm sure our AI companion will be telling us about that along the way and requesting we scan things and everything else. But I don't know what these are, unfortunately. I can take a look at them and see what exactly is causing it. All right, so that took a little while, but I did find the scene that incorporates those tentacles and the uh, submarine itself. And the tentacles themselves don't look like they're attached to anything. I did notice there's like really big ones strewn out across the ground. Um, but we can see actually right here. These tentacles appear to just come out of the ground and begin reaching for the submarine, which obviously caused major issues for us because, well, they're a hostile life form, we would assume. Unfortunately, underneath here, there is nothing like there's no creature that's visible or anything insane uh it's basically it is what it is more or less but we can see though how they reach up and they start grabbing at the submarine and they take different shape and they're all animated so oh and then they just disappear because i ran out of space so let's move on Okay, so there's going to be a lot of cool stuff from this point on now that we've gotten past that. But we can see a lot of VFX magic. What happens is the submarine's made tiny and it just expands to full size in the scene itself. I'm not going to bother going over that. But we can see the submarine is notably damaged now. And funny enough, uh, I believe it was Aki. He went to a game dev conference and met with Charlie Cleveland himself and got some advice on working on this scene. But... Now we continue going deeper into the void, and we're following signals and anomalies that our AI companion has detected. These anomalies, however, unfortunately, might be something else that's tricking the systems, because you can see tentacles and weird bone-shaped objects passing by us, and things with spikes. There's a lot of creepy stuff that's happening in this scene, but we're going to be looking at the entire trailer at the very end of this, and I'll give you my initial reaction to when I first saw this, like before I started making any of this that you're seeing right now. But anyways, we can see we've at some point broken to the deepest depth of the void itself, and that has brought us to this new floating island, deep below literally everything. And now we see even more new creatures, and more crystal, and crystalline plants, and even architect technology, and pipelines that seem to be running with ion energy as well. We're going to jump in and take a look at that in a moment, but this right here is what I wanted you to see as well. It's some kind of precursor pyramid. Now that beam is a big VFX uh, edit, we're not going to see that in our uh, blender scene, but I'm going to take a second now, and we're going to jump over into Blender and see what this is all about. So I got to ruin the surprise, obviously, and jump into this right here, which is the scene we had just seen of the uh, ship itself going through the water, and, you know, there's some weird stuff that starts passing by us. Well, that odd shape right there is one of the things, it looks like a, a spiked tentacle, more or less. It's just, it just has more spikes. And then there's another one that seems to zoom by as well. The idea behind it is just to add that depth of wonder and fear because they can reuse stuff and like have it represent something for like a later product, basically. Um, but more or less, it's just like fancy spikes that pass by us and you don't really get to see it because all of the editing and post-processing that's put on it make it seem a lot scarier than it actually is in the editing bay. But it is a smart use of assets and it is a smart way to instill a sense of, you know, fear of the unknown, you know? And we can see 
the interesting creatures right here, which any of you that are OGs of Subnautica know that these creatures were at one point very, very old um, concepts, I believe, actually, which I'll throw up on screen right now. I can't remember their name. Hopefully the name is there. I think they were just called like uh, Leviathan or something, or they were called something weird. But the cool, whoops, I don't know what I just did. Uh, the cool thing about these, though, is that these as well are also game ready. Don't excuse the fact that they look low quality and their texturing is poor and stuff. Again, the lower the quality they could have some of the assets, the faster they could render this. And this type of stuff took like a long time for them to render on the systems that they were using. But there's a bunch of them going around. And yeah, they're game ready. That is pretty damn badass as far as I'm concerned to make all of these custom assets. And then we see these uh, crystalline tree type things as well, which plays into the theme more that I think crystals are a big part of this entire thing. And we can see architect pipes down right here as well. And ultimately, it leads to the pyramid that's right here. This pyramid itself is a complete mystery because this would be found incredibly deep within the ocean. But I don't know how large this is and how large these leviathans are supposed to be or if these will be aggressive or if they're basically what the reef back turned into more or less or uh, what the, what uh, became the reef back later um you know it, it's i don't know what exactly is happening within that we can see that it does light up and it does actually consume power and uh, everything else is moving around too in the scene i'm just skipping through a couple things here um but like i'm not really sure what the deal is with this and there's another thing i noticed as well actually uh the peepers aren't like normal peepers these are peepers yeah but the peepers look like they've been infected or i don't know they have some kind of like crystalline armor or something encrusted on them now i do have a concept for that as well some of them have like a crystal coating and then like some are different variations of peepers themselves I'm pretty sure that these are mutated or like something happened with these peepers when they were close to these crystal structures down here, which makes me wonder what else can that crystal do? What will they do when these creatures are more flushed out and interact with said crystals? How is that going to work? I don't know if the terrifying thing is here. Is the terrifying thing here? Uh, no, it's not in this scene. It's going to be the next scene, actually. <laughs> oh, man, it gets a little bit wild. Honestly, this kind of reminds me of something from Below Zero. Um, and on the inside of this, there's really nothing. It's just a bunch of weird uh, lighting and texture and stuff. Nothing underneath the world either, I don't think. More of these big rocks and these big crystals. I'm just, I'm kind of confused why they would add these in, though, uh, if they weren't going to have them in the scene. I don't believe they did anyways. Okay, let's move on because we have... Uh, <laughs> yeah. So the trailer's going to start winding down now as we see the final touches and the grand finale of what's been sending us signals and dragging us deeper and deeper into the void. Uh, and it's that thing, <laughs> which is pretty insane. And that is completely modeled too, which I'm very surprised about. Anyways, let's jump into that. So we've returned to the scene one last time because this is the ending scene and it leads into the giant Leviathan that seems to have been dragging us down to the depths of the ocean. And we end up going off into the void, which here is just empty space, but... Well, technically, void is still empty space, but you get what I mean. But we continue going, and the submarine goes way out. So we can see now the submarine is leaving the underwater island, the floating island, and all of its inhabitants. And you can see the submarine right here, just behind my cursor. It's not very visible, but it's there. Uh, and during this scene, something actually floats past or swims back, uh, past the uh, the main camera right here. And we're not able to see exactly what this is simply because it's so dark and there's so much processing put onto the clip itself. But it is not just simply a tentacle or something that's a tentacle that's exacerbated. This is uh, something entirely different, which we had already seen with its massive teeth and everything else that was there. And we continue, and this is what it actually is, which I'm going to pause it here now, and it is a giant leech-like creature. Now, don't mind that the world disappeared back here. Uh, that's a rendering technique, so they're not rendering additional stuff in the background and, you know, wasting processing on that. Uh, they did keep some of these creatures here, and we can see, too, they have uh, working bioluminescence in the kit itself, which is pretty cool. But let me just go ahead and turn my lighting off and everything else so we can get a better look at this. In the actual scene, this thing is called Worm. Uh, I... <laughs> It was leaked to me what exactly this thing is, um, but 
<laughs> I'm not going to leak that because it was, I'm not supposed to know. Uh, you could probably come to the conclusion of that, though, once we watch this entire trailer here coming up in a moment uh, with my reaction, basically, to it. But we can see that this is also a pretty customized model. Assuming that this is entirely custom, I would say this is a custom model and not a marketplace asset, but this thing at some point has gotten into some pretty nasty fights. We can see scarring one of its mandibles or whatever you want to call this are actually chewed off or bitten off. So it, it attacks something at one point that uh, was pretty, uh, pretty nasty and pretty toothy. Um, and the size of this thing alone is actually massive like it makes this submarine look tiny but this is a small submarine anyway so it's not gonna be you know like if i put the atlas submarine or the socks submarine next to this i mean it might fill up its entire mouth like the front end of the ship might barely fit into its mouth and at that point or like its inner mouth or inner set of teeth uh, it's still a terrifying looking creature nonetheless with a weird spike at the end of its uh at the end of its tail um, but otherwise, that's the big reveal of the scary-ass thing that exists within the, the void and, and the call of the void and all that stuff. But we're going to go ahead now and jump into the trailer itself and listen to the audio specifically because there are a lot of hints and teasers if you really take a moment and think about it as you're listening and you'll understand a lot more and i was told specifically to tell you guys that because a lot of people watched it and were like oh that's so cool but no one really paid attention to what was being said in the background so just listen to it and uh watch out for my whole plate too because that's pretty cool I'll pro i i think i pointed it out i'm not sure when i did my reaction but anyways let, let's do that it's so cool Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh, Hydra Online. Hydra. <gasps> Current location, dead zone. Oh. Depth, 800 meters. That's a different sub. I haven't seen that in a while. Distance to signal, one kilometer. Wait, is that a bacon hull plate? <laughs> is that my hull plate? Radar contact. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool editing. Uh, on a floating island? Yeah, it's a floating island. It's like... Okay. What the hell is that? Oh! <gasps> what the hell is that? Is that something from Reese? Oh. Those are, uh... I can't remember their name. Um... The old stalker? No. Strider! Oh, that's a cool effect. Alright, so we're just going down through deep ocean territory. Alright. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, that's not good! Oh my god, what is that? That's... Damn, that sound design. <laughs> wow. That was pretty good. Oh, damn! Whoa. Oh, that's some After Effects. System report. Problem integrity, low. Oxygen reserves, low. Shields offline. Jump drive, offline. Oh, he got messed up. Damn. Anomaly detected. Get closer for detailed info. Anomaly? Anomaly detected. Oh, I don't like that. Anomaly oh. 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 Oh man, that sounds like a mesmer or something. <gasps> Yo, that was sick. That's like a mesmer or something. Anomaly catalog. All repairs recommended. Damn! Going down to the ocean to check out an anomaly and it was dragging us down? We got tricked! Oh, that is such a good scene. Is that a Capro from Lozer? Whoa! What are those? You're old! Uh, do those peepers have red fins? Pyramid. What is, what is that gonna power? <gasps> Yo, what is this? What is that? 
Oh my god. So much. So many questions. Aki, what the hell? Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god! Damn! That's insane! Oh my god! Okay, so that is pretty well everything for Call of the Void and a very exclusive sneak peek. Thank you very much, Aki, for letting me take a look at this and uh, see how this went. This <laughs> That was pretty sick. Anyways, guys, uh, I wanted to let you know that this is a very ambitious project and I know that they need to see a lot of interest to see this happen and become a reality because it's going to take a lot of work. This isn't going to be some scuffed, quickly thrown together mod or anything. This is going to be something that's professionally done. And I think ultimately this is a test for many people working on it to then use it as like a demo or like put it on a resume because they want to do game dev stuff. So they want to do something that's like really cool, basically. Um, so you need to let us know, or, well, let me know or let Aki know in the comment section if you want to see this mod come to life. And if you are genuinely interested, because if enough eyes hit this video and enough eyes hit him, then we can actually move forward with this and see what happens. And if there is enough interest in this, I have no problem at all helping them with funding. I haven't told Aki that. He's going to find out now once this, uh, hits live, I guess. And I guess when you guys tell him, um, but going to be really Really damn cool if this- Hey, Slendy! Damn, I didn't know Slendy worked on this, that's so cool! Slendy, uh, helps me out with a lot of my other video stuff, actually. Uh, him and- and Lee and some other people, and, uh... Um... What? What is this? What is it? What is this, smoking? That's a- wait, that's a crystal floating. What is that? Ah. <gasps> uh... Teaser? Hello? Okay, so I didn't actually see that crystal part at the end. That reminds me of um, a concept, actually, as well, which I'll just throw here. Anyways, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. As always, uh, leave a like on this video for sure. If you, want to, if you want to see this mod become a thing, leave a like on the video and just, just say something in the comment section, okay? Um, okay, that's it, guys. I will see you in the next one.